The Rugby World Cup may not have gone Wales' way this year, but the sport is enjoying somewhat of a renaissance in Welshpool. I've got it planned tonight, so let's get through things sharp and thinking, concentrating. Yeah, let's be on it tonight, okay? Take yourself off for a warm-up and then be ready to come onto those those cones there, the yellow and green ones, okay? Get yourself off for a warm up around the halfway. Welshpool Rugby Club was founded nearly 100 years ago, but the sport in the town has gone through plenty of highs and lows, with it later disbanding and then reforming in 1967. But these days, there's a growing buzz of optimism surrounding the club, proving that rugby is very much on the up. I think uh, you can just feel it tonight. The, the numbers are there in the training. We, we're, we're seeing uh, the results on the pitch. And I think we've got a plan now as a committee. We're coming together to look, not just at this season, but to go forwards in terms of the vision of the next few years to bring in the Warriors, if you like, the juniors into the first team, which has always been a problem, I think, in Welsh rugby. So we've got to really protect that, that into the seniors team to get the future of the club. Talking about the junior setup, um, what have you got down here in the club? What opportunities are there for youngsters? In terms of juniors, obviously we got it from uh, from from a young age through primary school into into seniors. Our under fourteens are really strong, under sixteens not so much. But again, the boys that's been here before COVID are more than welcome to come back. Um, we're also starting to see the COVID generation, if you like, the under under eighteens youth team turning eighteen, coming now down to second team opportunities. So. I think the message is there for anyone from primary school who's been in school or just finished school to come back to the club and, and come and get your boots back on. The first team have been in stunning form this season, winning as many games already as they did last term to become serious title contenders in Division 2 North. And there's a distinct feeling that the best is yet to come. It's just a perfect balance of experienced players. Um, obviously, I've got my, um, Ryan Goodwin as captain. He's been a stalwart of the club for a long time. Joe Stranks, they're playing week in, week out. They're playing with the, the freedom of just having a go. Um, and the young lads seem to be feeding off that and then starting to grow in themselves. Um, we've got some really big players now as well. The, 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 the pack itself's grown. We've got a couple of big six foot seven locks and stuff that, that the Welsh ball hasn't had in a long time since since the old Nick Lard, the Steve Waldron days. So, so no, it, it, and, and they're really, the training's been really positive. It's gone from the start of last season where we were getting five or six to having 20 to, to, to 30 every week. So it's really good. But it's not just about the first team. Welsh Bull Rugby Club is investing heavily in the stars of tomorrow. And there are now opportunities to play rugby from primary school newcomers right up to the first team with a dynamic pathway programme in place. Yeah, it seems to me it's really thriving at the moment. It, about four years ago, the under 14s, we had about six players and then after COVID, they had, um, the WRU and the club had a, a club hub, hub officer with Pont Havren and he's, Hugh's been going into schools and now training, well, playing on sun, Sunday, we were with 24 players. It's a big improvement in the space of three years. Also, I think with, with rugby, it's more inclusive. Everyone, it doesn't matter if you're the best player in the world or the shortest or anything with you. They all, there's a place for everyone on a rugby team and it's more inclusive. And, and I think... Welsh rugby has been in a good place as well the last few years. Well, perhaps the last. <laughs> but it has improved and it's helped. And there's a keenness in the town. And what would you say to anyone out there that's thinking of either playing rugby of any age or, or thinking of sending their children to rugby? What would you say to them? I'd say just come down, give it a go. There's nothing to be scared of. Everyone, Everyone's welcoming. It's, it's a real fun game. And you know, there's nothing to be afraid of. Everyone's got to start somewhere and there's a place for everyone. Welsh Bull Rugby Club is much more than just about the sport. The club has built solid ties through a pioneering community initiative that works closely with local schools, groups, as well as the mental health charity Pont Havre. We're finding now that through the club we're um, attracting a much more uh, diverse range of people, um, but particularly with walking rugby, that's allowing um, all sorts of people to come and join, enjoy a sport that they're used to, or a sport that they've always wanted to enjoy but haven't been able to through all sorts of reasons, whether that be um, injury or through just not having the opportunity. But it's we've over the last summer we've had um, 
we participated in two walking rugby tournaments um, and that's allowed um, people to play who never, ha never have the opportunity but to play with their um, children, to play with their, like, people who never ha would never get that opportunity to play rugby with their children. They've been able to put on a Welsh school shirt together and play rugby together, which is a great thing to do. And we hear a lot about rugby and mental health. Mm -hmm. um, you're heavily involved with that through Pond Tavern. Mm -hmm. um, tell us a little bit about how rugby can help people through tough times. Well, a, a, a great deal. So the, with rugby itself, it's, it's the camaraderie and the, the team spirit of being with, um, being with your friends, but having a good laugh. Um, we've had reports from the walking rugby itself that that's helped people with their anxiety, people um, just with their confidence in general, especially those um, who've come through Pont Havrin to access walking rugby. I found it very helpful. With such positive vibes, even on these miserable autumn evenings, you can't help but feel that something special is happening at Mysadre.